Hey guys, it's Sexiga Good here, and we're going to play some new game called The Stanley Parable. And we're going to play this inside of The Stanley Parable. Inside of The Stanley Parable. Inside of The Stanley Parable. Let's begin the game. End is never the end. Is never the end is loading. <laughs> we're already off to a good start. So apparently this, this game is really hilarious and I hear it's got a lot of funny jokes in it so that's why I'm playing it right here right now today uh, it's actually night time from where I am I know this is a bit confusing because I upload these things at daytime I don't know so yeah so it's just taking a bit of a while to load you just have to wait for a little bit um yeah didn't think it would take this long to load. It's already been a minute. Wow. Might have, yeah. I didn't think it'd take this long to load. I thought it'd just be like, bam, done. And keep in mind, guys, I'm not just going to keep posting Undertale Let's Play parts. Because there's like a whole lot. A whole lot. There's like 16 parts, I think. So, I'll probably play other games too. I don't want to keep it completely boring, right? I mean, who want a thing that's boring? No one. So, I might just... If I go to someone, if I get free Wi-Fi or something, I'll just bundle all the parts together and just put it in as a one-hour part or something. Okay, look, it's it's halfway. It's not even halfway. It's it's nearly to the end, and we just have to wait just a little bit more. I wake up when it's done. Mm, come on. Hurry up and start. Hurry up. Why? Why? Oh, it's so close to loading. Uh, uh. Okay, here we go. Nice. We're doing something. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. What's happening? Oh, that's me. Probably. Interesting. It's a bit glitchy. He's just typing in things on a keyboard. Doesn't know stuff very well. This is what oh, he sucks. He hasn't day. got any typing every skills. How'd they get him in? These stupid idiots can't type our ass. So That's dumb. Every that the came in. Whoa. Stanley That's a bit weird. Exactly There's no other room. Stanley That's strange. So where am I? The Stanley Parable. It's Something probably already said that, so... Stanley. Yeah. Something he would never quite forget. Oh, he looks really bored. He like he has nothing to do with his life. Or something, I don't know. Hmm. Really? Well, frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Let's have a look around, see what's going on. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make oh, no. a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been yeah. sure for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. Anything no. I will be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had yes. the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, no. someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. 
He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Yes. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here Holy it crap. Holy crap. What happened? Oh no, not another crappy loading screen. How dare you torture me like this, stupid game. I hope this game was made by Valve, but apparently it wasn't, so that sucks. It's made with Source Engine. Oh yes, doors open. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see, what, what number is 427? 428? 429? Looks exactly like my desk. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. But I've been waiting here days and months. Wouldn't everyone well, left already? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make <laughs> a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's touch more things. Touching, touching, touching. Touching, touching, touching things. Oh, did you see that? Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Yes. I'm on the chair. Oh, this is amazing. This is so good. I already like this game. I better put turn on the graphics so I can, like, make this go faster. Holy crap. I love this photo. Whoa. Does that say anything? It says a lot of stuff. Wow. And this paper is all alone with the group. It should be with the group. It's not. That sucks. Can I pick it up? This might have been the memo the guy was talking about. Can't open the door. Can't open anything. What's that? Looks like he's watching something. This invisible dude. Hey, you know what's going on? Oh, the door's open. Whoa. Look at that. What am I working at? Oh, you see that? I turned off the computer. Oh, nice. Input received. Cool. This guy was downloading some games before he left. What does this say? Knowing your city. That might be important, but not really. Um, what else is there? That computer's not on. That one turned off. That's weird. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. I thought someone close thought someone else was here. That is so cool. Um oh look. What where am I working? Whoa. See the water effects on this thing? So much good Photoshop, man. These are trained professionals. Whoa. That's my house over there. That one over there. Alright. Um Oh look at this. Well wow, there's a map. Well, how come every other office has an ent ent exit outside except mine? That sucks. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ha ha, no. This was not I'm the taking... correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he yeah. stopped by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, because the employee lounge kick ass. Ah, Look at this. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. You know what I'll also be drinking? This stuff, right here. Come on, come on out, little buddy. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah, it's worth it, man. This is such a great game where you just wander around and at this point, uh, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on. But at last he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first yep. open door on his left to get back to business. Screw you. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't <laughs> five years ago. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't even know you exist, man. Whoa, this looks like a portal. Where's my portal gun? Warning, penalty for misuse of cardio. <laughs> Jumping off. It will cause death. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. 
I'm not your enemy. This is the wrong but foot. But eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley left from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Yay. Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Wahoo! That was amazing. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs> this narrator is such a great guy too. He cares. He cares so much about what I do. I don't. Okay, we're here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh yeah, that's right. So I have to go to the. This doesn't. Look. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But then I took a quick look and decided, I oh, let's. Nope. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps yes, I he did. To stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Whoa! Yes, this room. But Boring. But to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. What is this? Uh, not boring. Let's take that cargo lift again. That was fun. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> yeah, here I am. Look, Stanley. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, Who? stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's uh -huh. waiting. For how long? What if I... Oh, flipping, come on. Can I just start this? Can I do 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 this? Watch this. No, I'm not going to go back on there. I led to my death, which was pretty fun. I guess. Let's go. Where am I? I actually have no idea where I am. Looks like cargo packaging. Holy crap. Her, you need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't <laughs> supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Really? Uh. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes. Now that's wrong. To white real credits. Not picking up the that's phone wrong. is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these oh, no. decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Wait. How did I not see what? it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Yes. I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been yeah. able to run around in this game for so long. If you've made any <laughs> more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely yeah. ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you yeah. grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that yes. risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please Are you kidding me? Instructional video. Choice. Are you kidding it's me? It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could That's spend years name. helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. 
or he That's would systematically good. set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which yeah, one would you make? Remember, I make the that fire one. Here, the real world makes sense, and at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If um, you find yourself speaking with yeah, a person fish. who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a bad back and crack. <laughs> what? A back sack and crack? Who says that, honestly? Oh, that was a great video. Did you see that one with the 2 plus 4 equals fish? Man, even I couldn't figure that one out. Holy crap. What's what's going on? Is my game broken? Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make eight more choices? than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, no. just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling yeah. should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. All right. You may have noticed oh, hey. that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Okay. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the okay. correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. All right. Alright, I'll go through that way in just a second. Let me just get my things. I'll just get this red and blue epic um, forklift. Alright, let's go. So where are we up to? Were we up to here? Yeah, we're up to here. Now let's go this way. Still can't go that way. Alright, so we were going this way? Or, yep, yep, we're going this way. Wait, what's this? Wait, I don't know things, so I have no idea where this... Is this like a docking cargo? We know your choices are meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story but that'd be funny. No sense at all. We yes, just it need would. to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, okay. <laughs> it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Alright, um, let's go this way. Ah, no, I wanna, oh my freaking, I wonder if I can get over this chair and then, no, I can't get off. Screw that. Right, let's go. Then where were we up to? Oh, we can't open that door anymore. He said the first door in the, so we were going this way? Let's go this way. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Nice. Let me just get a drink first. <coughs> I can't go back in the real world without a good drink. Let me just find a chair to sit on. Can I flip the table? Oh, there's a secret document in here. Ooh, that looks interesting. This is real life painting, so good, man. Don't need this. Let's go here. Still so much things to do, so, so much places to go. So good. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure right. you'll be up to the task. Just follow my okay. lead and you'll be fine. All right. Sure. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Foop. There is nothing out here anymore. Alright, hang on guys. Um, uh, 